Hi everybody. Hello, happy Wednesday. Oh my gosh. Can you believe it's Wednesday? I feel like my weeks fly by. Yes, I have a Christmas tree with a hat on it right in front of me. Why wouldn't I? Uh, and I think when we get done with today's whole lesson, you are going to agree and want to do the same exact thing. Uh, hi, Nancy Pitzrack. I know you're not saying hi yet, but I see you and I know I missed you before. Hi, Tammy Fitz. First one I actually saw say something. Welcome, my friends. Uh, yes, happy Wednesday to everybody. This is what we worked on in our membership group the other day. Hi, Michelle. Hi, Pam. Uh, I do know that Kathy was still on, and so I had to go. I have a, I have a calendar, so I had to keep going. Hi, Tammy. Hi, Debbie Gross. And um, I thought it was so funny. Hi, Kay. Hi, Lynn. So funny that, I mean, it is like we're all the same people. Hi, Debbie Hicks. Uh, I saw, I'm watching, and she's doing a Lazy Susan, which is what our class is this week. Hi, Shelly. Hi, Michelle. And then I look in the corner, and oh, yeah, I see she's got the big Santa picture that I have, too. And I was like, all right, maybe we all need to start coordinating. Hi, Nikki. Hi, Joanne. Hi, everybody. So what I wanted you guys to see, hi, Pamela. Hi, Molly. So remember, when I'm in studio, I, I try to be gracious to everybody and not go through the whole romper room thing for too long, but we're gonna do it for a second. Hi, Babu. Hi, Debra. Hi, Viv. You're watching from Memphis, awesome. Wow, uh, hi, Antoinetta. Let's get started. I have a lot to get to today. Hi, Tana. Uh, oh my gosh, you guys know, this will go on, on and on forever. So, okay, right now, hi, Sharon Butler. So, this is the little tree that we worked on uh, in our membership group. And I know it doesn't look like much, but you guys, this was a piece of garland that I just stuck in to make it huge and full. We've got the um, twinkle lights on it, and then two skewers down through the top, and then a handmade by my mom and I, a little hat. And if you get our tutorial, so that's why I'm showing you, if you get our tutorial, you can also have your own hat. So if you haven't seen that class, we have a tutorial on our website and it's called Mad Hatter Hats. My mom, I went to a Mad Hatter party years ago, well, I had a craft, and I said, Mom, I need a hat. She made me the most gorgeous hat and a lot of people saw it and said, you've got to teach us how to do that. So, oh my gosh, you guys, is this not the most beautiful hat you've ever seen? So this is the type of hat that you could wear or put on a, a big Christmas tree, but it might flop around on your tree. But look at this. So my mom takes you through the entire video on how exactly to make these. So they are so much fun and I'm using them in all my decor this holiday. Look at this one. This is the one that I made that I'm very proud of. So anyway, if you're interested in these hats because they are the coolest things, you could do small, this is a medium, and then the large. Now this one would be perfect. And yes, you saw what that is. The other one is made from scratch. This is made from items you have around your home, but they're so, so fun to make. So anybody who's made them yet will tell you the same thing. Hi, everybody. Hi, guys. Hi, hi, hi. I would love to say hi to everybody individually, but I can't. So anyway, picture this with this or a whole bunch of these little ones all over your Christmas tree, just kind of at an angle. So those are so fun. But this is my most favorite. So I've pushed our tutorial. It's on www.studiomdaz.com. And right now we're running $10 off until October 31. So that entire tutorial start to finish with all kinds of supplies and a list of written out directions is just $29 right now. So if you're not, uh, hi Candy's Creations in the house. How about that just popped right up? I could see you right away. Uh, okay, so anyway, that's that. Let me show you. So this is what we did in membership the other day. And I, all right, let me get this. Well, hold on for right now. I wanna leave this here and then, I've got it on a different uh, 
candle holder that I did before. Okay, so then I painted all these candle holders. So watch where we're going with this. I painted all the candle holders so that they would all match. So I could do a trio of trees because, hold on, hold on. Here is the big one that we are going to, let's see if I can move this. Nope, I didn't think I could. All right, I'm gonna get this out of here for a second. I gotta figure that out. Anyway, this is, look at this, you guys. To have two of these in front of your fireplace or on your mantle, they're huge. So this right here is 18 inches. This is another 10, so 28 inches. Aren't those gorgeous? So what I wanted to do was a grouping of three trees. So I'm going to have this one, this one with the hat. This one is going to be our major centerpiece of the trio. And then I want to do one a little bit smaller, but on one of those stands, all black and white, because why wouldn't we? So I want to show you how to do a tree exactly like this, except I'm just going to do black and white check or black and white. So you say black and white check. I'm going to use all black and white ornaments and things instead of all the different colors. But I have to tell you, I love this one so much. And I didn't finish the top yet because I thought we would do that today and finish it. And I thought, well, that's silly. Let's just do one from scratch. So, all right, let me get, let me get rid of this thing before I break it in a million pieces. Okay, let's see how to turn off, how to turn off. There we go. I do love these little twinkle lights. They're on sale at Hobby Lobby right now, you guys. Um, I have paid in the past upwards to $10 a piece for those from different stores. So um, happy to only pay, I think I paid $3.99 or $4.99. So today we're gonna do a little black and white tree. How fun is this? And this one, um, okay, by the way, P.S. These are from Hobby Lobby. It's where I got them. Somebody said Monday that you can get these at uh, Dollar Tree, probably more this size and they're white. But these are, these were not very expensive. Hi guys, hi everybody. Oh, you know, it's killing me not to say hi to everybody. Um, so anyway, I'm gonna use a tr trio of three and then my other one is just a little bit smaller. So that's, is that right or is this? No, this is the small. So my other one is a medium with the greenery on it. So let me get that aside. And this one is going to sit on this. So this is why we're going to do three different trees, but they're all going to make sense because I painted all the candlesticks with all the same colors and different designs, but all the same. So, get excited. I'm excited because I have been looking at it over there. And when I take pictures, which I will today, you'll see how beautiful it comes up as a centerpiece because I use a big feathery white boa. I've always used that when I'm decorating for Christmas instead of the snow that gets everywhere. So I use a big boa, the big feathery kind that are a nightmare, but that's what I use, cover my whole table with them in the center. And then, um, so that's what's gonna be my centerpiece. And I will have these on mirrors also. So these three will be on a mirror, um, not for any other reason other than to keep them solid from, you know, jiggling around. So you'll see, I'll take pictures afterwards and show you. One thing you have to have a ton of with this craft is hot glue. This is all hot glue. The other one I did with the greenery, I just stuck them all in so it didn't matter. Um, I know, that's what I just said. Uh, Kathy Royal Funky Junk is doing a Lazy Susan right now, which is our class this weekend. And I also have that picture, so I thought, oh man, uh, crafters, we gotta, we gotta branch out, get away from each other, I think, because we're all thinking the same. So I've got a number of different types. So what I have found doing these, hi everybody, hi Sandy. Doing these, you got kicked off. Uh-oh, uh-oh, all right, well, uh, <laughs> I don't know what that's about. So all different textures. These are in the pick aisle and they're like fuzzy velvet. 
These are spectacular in the pick aisle. This is all Hobby Lobby. These were $3.99, 50 off. These, I, I mean, I can see a whole tree done in those. I just love them so much. And then, so I've got more of those. And then this is just garland. And it is also at Hobby Lobby. And it was $12.99, half off. But look at all we're getting for that. So we're going to be using a ton of that. And then I have these that were only $2.50. And it's a whole box of black, all different textures. So that's what I found most critical, as you can see. You've got to have the greenery. You've got to have the shine. You've got to have the glitter. Got to have something funky. So make sure when you do it that you do all different um, textures. Okay. It was supposed to be a, like 70 degrees today here, I think. I'm in, if you're new, I'm in Scottsdale, Arizona. And um, so anyway, but this is, this, is, this is the Lazy Susan that we are doing in our class Sunday night. So this is our, uh, this class will be available uh, after Wednesday. I believe it's gonna be $29 also. So anywho, all right. And this is our topper for this. How cute is that gonna be? And then everything's gonna flow with all kinds of different um, textures and designs. Uh, Lynn, did I show the hats? I did, I did show the hats, they're just darling. But we're gonna get started, so there's the little one. Um, okay, so you need some good, uh, uh, what are they called? Bolt clipper, bolt, uh, bolt cutters, I guess. I don't know, they're just little ones. I got them at Hobby Lobby, no big deal. I'm trying to make sure I have all of my stuff I do all right so then I just started I just went for it which is what you've got to do you've just got to go for it and so of course I'm just cutting up my garland these are all different sizes I want my bigger pieces on the bottom for sure so the other thing I found is get yourself a paper plate and do it on that because you'll lose a lot of glue and you don't want it all over the place uh, Susan Fulmer, my live is cutting out. Um, sometimes it's just certain people's internet because I would know if it was because it would be cutting out for me too. So unfortunately, usually it's, it's whatever's happening at your house or it could be internet. I mean, it could be Facebook. We never know. So sometimes you got to go all the way back out and come all the way back in. I'm just using regular hot glue. What are they called? Side cutters? Uh, regular, okay, Kim Whitmore, I'm fine. Okay, yeah, I thought so, because like I said, I usually know if something's happening, and i um, so excited, you guys. I've been missing these glasses for like a year. Look how pretty they are. Um, this was when Steinmart was still, well, when they still had their real store, and I loved these glasses so much, but I could never find them again, so... Anyway, I thought, uh, I thought they were gone forever. Luckily, I still have them. All right, you're not cutting out, Judy? Okay, awesome. So I assume we'll get a, uh, a group of people in a little bit when, hold on, Lynn Green, your Joann's is closing and they're starting the big sale. Of, oh, I would be all over that. You can use hot glue on styrofoam. Uh, <laughs> Yes, because I did the whole thing. But here's what I learned. You have to let it dry really well. Um, how funny is that? Yes, it does work. I did the entire, oh, Debbie, I do too. I did that entire other one with hot glue. And the only thing that took a while was having to hold it and make sure it's solid. And so that's why I just, it took a while because I just kept using it. Uh, we could definitely use toothpicks too. Thank you, Micheline. Um, I've got a whole bunch of toothpicks right here. Let's just see. Uh, let's see if I can get that off. Uh, I'm trying to figure out how you're thinking that we would do it, you know, because I'm the crafter and all. Oh, I see. All right, maybe we'll do it this way. Let's just try it. This is always good to know what is going to work the best. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, that was really good. Uh, Shannon, you are late, you have a lot going on. I know everybody, apparently it's the crafter's canvas right now, everybody's got the big Santa, but I'm going to be doing mine. Probably different than everybody, hopefully. So, like I said, you guys, you just gotta stick with this. It takes, 
Uh, it took me a while, but it can also go really fast too, I promise. Let me get um, some more toothpicks over here because I think these, all right, what I'm wondering is, um, whoever said to use the toothpicks, genius, you should be a craft, you, you should be a craft teacher instead of me for sure. I'm, I'm the idea girl though. I always say I got great ideas. I just, uh, I'm usually just, uh, you know, as we go, we're figuring it out as we go. Uh, no, there isn't anything wrong with being different. I just hope mine's different. Carol Pulver, you haven't missed a thing yet. How much was the big Santa? It was on sale for $29.99. So it was uh, $49.99, half off. And I bought it online and it came in a box big enough to bury a you know what in. Uh, I can't say the word because we'll get kicked off Facebook, but it was huge. So um, just know that if you order it and you need a really big box for anything, you're gonna get that too. Okay, so when you're doing these, stuff like this, this is what I did. I did leave all the little, whatever I could, the, um, you know, the little stems, as much of the stem on as I could for this reason, so that it would go right in. And it did beautifully every time. But I'm gonna keep it on this plate. But look, you can already see, if you take a look at that, take a look at this and picture. Now, you, I have been moving this around for four days uh, uh, three days because I started it Monday I, and I keep moving it around to take pictures of it and not one of these little dingly balls has fallen off yet. So once you get it dry, I promise you it is, it's super solid. I'm, I'm thrilled with that part of it, but I do like having all different sizes, but I do want some semblance of, you know, let's, let's at least have some kind of a pattern going. Uh, yeah, I always, you love my lipstick? Thank you. It's, uh, well, I use a uh, MAC lip liner and I have to come, I, I think Kathy has all that information because somebody asked for it a while ago. Um, I use the MAC lip liner, but I use uh, like L'Oreal or cheap, you know, drugstore uh, lipstick just because once I find one I love, I go with it. I, I know, Michelle Hall, that dingly ball tree, tree is amazing. But wait till all three of these are put together in a centerpiece. It's going to be spectacular. What am I hearing? Something is, I don't know. I think it's my internet. Something in my kitchen is just making all kinds of crazy noises. And uh, <laughs> there's nobody here but me. So that's a little freaky. Uh, okay, so I love these. These, I think, were awesome. These were $4.99 half off. So what I did, I started like this and then it was honestly that first level that was the toughest. And then you can start filling in and I've got little berries, big berries, all kinds of stuff that um, I promise will work like a, like a champ. And I don't know, it's just, I really enjoy doing this one probably more so than the greenery one. Now this one, I'm just gonna throw in right here, cause I can, and I'm gonna like it. Do you see? So now we're starting to add the fun. And now I need some different stuff. So on these, I'm popping those off. My friend, whoever it was, I think it was Micheline said, get a, get a toothpick. So I'm doing a toothpick. Molly Kelly, my mom is doing good today. She's still got that earache though. So I don't like that, but, um, she was here today and we sent her home uh, just because, actually I sent her to Dollar Tree because there's a whole bunch of stuff I need. And so I was like, mom, why don't you go? You're, you, you know, just go. But on your way home, if you wouldn't mind stopping at Dollar Tree, that is one place I never get to. I don't know why, but it is so hard for me to get to Dollar Tree. Not for any reason other than there isn't one just super close by. Okay, now you see, you can have them like this together as long as they're different textures. So now let's get some of, look at these. All this garland, you guys. So this is what I bought for the big tree, is um, a big long garland like this. Now I have to be careful so it's all gonna fly all over the place. 
that's okay. I was going to uh, pull it all apart ahead of time. Um, but now I'm just gonna start working my way up. Okay, those I'm not gonna do. These, these really did hook on really well. And if they've got the hole in them, make sure that, ow, make sure that you do the holes to the side or straight out in front and then you put a little berry like I did on this one. Some of those little holes were sticking out, so I would put little berries right on the hole so nobody could tell. But can you believe, you just keep um, that, uh, I'm still so floored that that thing is so solid, it makes me happy. Now my mom said, you're really just all black and white? Is there anybody else? Uh, is there a link already? Hold on, I missed it. Is there a link posted already for the Santa on the canvas? I don't think there's a link because it's just at Hobby Lobby. Uh, but, you know, we're going to turn him into a black and white Santa, of course. And uh, I do this every year with my big Santa pictures, and they turn out gorgeous. So I will be doing that on him also. This is the kind of stuff, though, I, I feel like is so boring for you guys because I there's nothing I cannot teach. I'm really not teaching you a whole lot. But we can sit and chat. Hi, Sue. You've been to all three stores, Bonnie? I got mine online. Did you try that? Because online, it um, and, and it showed up like three days later. So there we go. I do, like I said, I do make sure I get those things off. Apparently, I'm going to need about 10,000 toothpicks, though. Also, and then you can have a little bit of space. Look, you can have a little bit of space, but then I'm going to uh, fill in with little, little things. Uh, you haven't found the, uh, you couldn't find the bracelets at Hobby Lobby? My gosh, I, I always see those there, so that's strange. Thank you, yeah. Being together is always the best, Janine. Uh, okay, so let's keep going. Yeah, that's it. I get distracted. Like, I would just want to sit and chit-chat and not have to think about crafting, but apparently that's my job, so I better keep at it. Yeah, so I'm so happy to know that this is the way to go, is go ahead and toothpick it with a lot of hot glue and then just make sure everything holds. Um, you guys that can't find the bracelets, go find them at... Um, Go look at like Michael's, Joanne. They're out there, you guys. They really are. Because I, I mean, I got mine years ago, but I see them all the time still. And there's some things I always say, if, if you find something, post it on our page that you found it. And so, uh, every, I mean, well, once you buy it, we've learned that. You buy it first, and then you tell everybody else where to go to get it. Because we've done that before on some of our classes where we've posted online oh look we're using this such and such lazy susan and then everybody goes and buys it and then there's nothing left for us or our craft so uh we're we're on to that gig uh nancy how many ball garlands were used uh this will be just a few of three so i'm going to use um a few different balls from three but then i used all the other ones for my other tree i bought three of these little things and I think I bought three of these little things. So there's not a lot of money in this tree. There's, um, we decided there's probably about $30 in this one, but let me just tell you, that is a walk in the park for something that gorgeous. The only issue with that thing, storage, which is always my issue. I want everything to, uh, you know, be stored really well. Uh, Debbie, what am I making? We're making a little Christmas tree out of just ornaments that you can get at Hobby Lobby or pretty much anywhere. And we are finding that if you put a little toothpick through it first, uh, this was my idea, put a little toothpick through it first, put a lot of glue on it, and it works much better than just sticking it with glue. I mean, who would do that? So that was, uh, look at this, you guys. So now you can see they really are stuck down. It just takes a second. But you guys all know, I totally panicked when it started. But luckily, I've already made some. And so I know, it, I truly know it works. But this is not the fun part. This is the relaxing part, maybe. 
but it's not the fun part for me. I, I just want to embellish. That's all I want to do. Uh, your eyes are bigger than your wallet? Well, join the club. On the wine bottles that were blinged out, did I take the labels off? No, Sue, great question. I did not take the labels off. I left the labels on. And uh, let me just tell you, those are a huge hit anywhere I go. So if you didn't see it, if you take a wine bottle or a champagne bottle, cover it. And I wish I had mine, but it's, in, it's put away. Uh, cover it in decoupage and then glitter, which I know it sounds terrible because I hate glitter. And if I brought a bunch of glitter to my son's house, he would have a heart attack. He hates glitter. But um, cover it in glitter and let that dry really well. And then hairspray it with either Aquanet, which is we have still found is by far the best one, or um, the other one that works is that Trace May because that's pretty stiff. That's what I use, so it doesn't really work, but it's the one I try to use. Uh, oh my gosh, I love Charleston Garden Magazine. I think I told you guys to get that a long time ago. This is too much talking, not enough crafting, Martha. I'm so sorry, but I could just sit here and just keep crafting and it would be dead silence. And um, maybe some people like that, but for the most part, I always remind everybody, um, you do you. I totally get it too, Martha. I don't, I don't love it when I watch it on other crafters, so I get it. But what people forget to understand is that for some people on here, this is the only conversation they're getting. So, you know, we're always so quick to go, ah, oh, that's not what I want. Okay, well, that's great. But maybe somebody really needs this today. And that's what we've come to learn. I think as crafters, most of us have learned that. And then, you know, it's also, and Martha, I certainly didn't mean to call you out. I, I thought the way you said it was fine. But um, just, I always want everybody to know, I, I told this story before on Kathy Royal Funky Junk's page, a lady got a little nasty and was like, you never noticed me. And all the other ladies were like, well, get off, go, go be with somebody else that, you know, that you want to be with. And something in my little soul said, you need to check on her. Something's not right. And so I, I uh, messaged her and I said, hey, I, you know, I noticed what you said on Kathy's page. What's going on? Are you okay? And she said, I feel invisible. I feel like nobody ever notices me. And it broke my heart and it changed the way I craft because, uh, you know, we really do. It bothers everybody that, or a lot of people, not everybody, but it bothers a lot of people that we go through and say hi to everybody. Well, you know what? When I'm on another crafter's page and they don't see me, they don't get, catch my name, I'm like, huh, all right, well, whatever. Then I'll try it again, <laughs> make another comment. There's just something about it. There really is, there's just something about it. I wish I had some great stories for you guys today. I don't even have any good stories. It's just, you know, same old, same old. But, oh my gosh, look already. Come on, this is darling. And, um, so here's what we're gonna do. Like every once in a while, we're going to shoot something like this out of it because I want this to be so funky and fun. And so probably what I'm gonna do, all right, but now you're starting to see where we're going with it. What I'm going to do is cut these in half because they're too big. And that way I'll get to keep some around. Uh, what I love about these, they're all different sizes. These, um, that garland, so. Go get that. But anyway, with the wine bottle, or yeah, with the wine and champagne bottles, cover it in uh, glitter. And then what you want to do is bling it up with bling and all kinds of stuff. And it makes, I mean, you look like, you, you look pretty impressive. You show up with that as a hostess gift. Uh, oh, thank you, Marlene. Uh, I haven't said hi to you yet, Pam Scott. There you are. See, that's all you got to do. You just got to keep doing it until we get it. Is the tree attached to the plate? No. Great question, Diane. And that's why I have it on a plastic plate because uh, when I first started doing it yesterday with the big tree, uh, I couldn't move the tree because it was stuck to my table. So I learned from that or the Monday when I did it. it. It will be super cute, I promise. Rings and things have bracelet blanks. Oh, and look, you guys. This is what I love so much is why we visit also. This is how we all find out good stuff about, you know, where other things are. Oh my gosh. 
I don't know what it reminds me of yet, but uh, all I know is so far, I love it. Now, if I was watching a good Hallmark movie in my pajamas and a big bowl of popcorn, this couldn't be a better day for me. But uh, I love, 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 love doing that. All right, I need to get another big, I'm gonna do another white one. So it's just, I mean, there's no rhyme or reason. Hi, Maria. See, you just have to say it. Walmart has some really fun wood bead garland in white and black. Yes, and I have some right here in my drawer, and I'm going to be using some of that also, but I love it when it's inexpensive. Thank you, Sandy. Hi, Doris from Canada. Are you finding what everybody else in Canada is finding out? When we make stuff, you're like, yeah, well, I'll watch it, but we can't, we can't find that stuff anywhere. Thank you, Diane. They were gone, they were missing, missing in action for like a year and I just found them again. Uh, Sherry Walton, oh, that's so sweet. Uh, yeah. Like I said, it's hard to believe because I grew up thinking life was all about me. And then one day you go, huh, it's not, it's not about me, really. Uh, and if you guys haven't watched it yet, go on Check Savvy Sisters, which is our other free page. And um, I posted a video of one of our sisters who's an incredible singer. And they did the, um, the Hobby Lobby Christmas song, and it is adorable. I posted it on all of the Hobby Lobby sites. It's on my YouTube channel now. So we're just hoping maybe we find somebody who knows somebody who knows somebody who was related to somebody at Hobby Lobby Corporate. Uh, I wonder if you could twist black and white pipe cleaners and make, oh my gosh, Beth Burris, where were you like an hour ago? That is a great idea. I love that idea. Um, i trying to think what else I would have that I could do that with. Um, great idea. All right, this I'm gonna have to push in. Oh. major hazards in crafting um once we get up i promise it really it it seems like oh my god is she ever gonna be done with this thing uh i will be uh i am carrie ann i'm a two thank you thank you i know but it would be weird if i was just sitting here wouldn't it because there are a couple crafters that are new to the game and that's what they do and I can, ha I can hack it for about three minutes and then I'm out because I need, uh, I need a little bit more, you know, entertainment. Yes, Chatty Kathy, for sure. For sure. And I, I don't care. Proud of it. Whatever. But I love that there's so many different crafters and everybody's got their own style. Um, my friend Bill can't stand it when some of them have such a Southern accent that they talk really loud and I'll be watching when we drive to San Diego because it's a five hour drive. So that's when I catch up on all the crafters and he'll say things like, okay, uh, turn that down or off or throw it out the window, do something with that noise, please. Doris, you don't have Hobby Lobby. Debbie, you're a retired nurse. You as a kid just started, my doctor said, if I talk too much to seniors, it's because I may, oh gosh because you might learn something. I'll go back and look and see what that said because I'm interested in that now. Okay, so you guys see, I'm not really paying much attention. I'm really looking at you guys more than anything. And can you see all the different textures are starting to come through like a champ. And it makes me so happy. And then when you get up to the top because it's so small, they start holding each other in. So. Um, you could even put white polka dots on the little solid block. Oh my gosh, I love that. I think I will, actually. I love that idea. Uh, Cheryl, good. I'm so glad. <laughs> so glad somebody's learning something. I don't even have, I, normally I have like, you know, uh, got a ticket or fell or something. I don't even have any of those stories. I know, Tina. I knew you were. I didn't care. But I think these velvets are my favorite. So, yep, Sunday night, you guys. Sunday night is our Lazy Susan class. I'm gonna have to come up with something really spectacular now. But you know I will. I'll figure something else out. 
Uh, Kathy is off now. Okay, good. I feel bad, but like I said, I I have a schedule that I keep now with all my lives, and so I don't have a lot of flexibility anymore. Get Bluetooth earbuds. Yes, I do. I have some, but I always think he's getting bored, like just sitting there with me not talking. I always feel like he wants to do something. Uh, Cecile, mom's doing better today. She was here um, most of the day, and um, so my mom has a. Ter she gets terrible sinus infections, and she gets horrible earaches, jabbing st like knives through the ears. But she also has a uh, acoustic neuroma tumor on her left ear, and so when she gets something I mean she's she's hurting and so um, you know I told her today maybe just clean just mop the floors do the toilets do the dishes and then you could go can you imagine if I told my mother that she'd be like yeah your mind and then she would do it uh, okay if you guys are local you know pinners conference coming up November 12 and 13 uh, Jeannie you're gonna be watching from Florida uh, I'm so glad most of you guys know I'm kidding about my mom. She, I am, I kid, I kid, I kid, I kid. Uh, anyway, Pinner's Conference coming up in Scottsdale, Arizona, November 12 and 13. Also could tuck some cut up boa throughout. Okay, I love that too. You guys, you guys are all about this, which makes me happy because that makes me know you guys are probably going to go try this. When you start coming up with your own ideas like that, uh, your husband pitches a fit when you listen to one of the crafters. I just save her videos when he's at work. Let me guess, Natalie, is it, is the word shabby in the sentence? Because that's the one that Bill, he will, he said he wants to like little, literally, you know, wipe us both out because he, he can't handle it. And she, I think she's a riot. I love watching her, but same thing. You know, it's gotta be small doses. Uh, I wish you guys were all coming to Pinners. Anyway, if you're in local or if you're coming into Pinners, like some people are, uh, we're having a big party here on November 14. It's free, and um, we're gonna have food and drinks and a craft and just fun. I just wanted to thank everybody for being a part of my little journey. You would just tuck little sprigs here and there and think it would add a cute texture. I think it would too. Your kid's dad has the exact tumor. Oh. Uh, yeah, my mom has no hearing in that ear. It's um, so sad because I know she gets embarrassed because she's just, Mom, are you on here? Like, we're talking about her like she's, you know, six feet under. Uh, she, um, you know, it, it bothers her tremendously that she can't hear what I'm saying. And then, you know, she hates her hearing aid. It hurts. Hi, Teresa. <laughs> Teresa, Therese. Duro, who wants to be in my video? I know it's an accident. Um, yeah, but she's okay. She's super, uh, oh my God, she has such incredible energy. And you guys, my aunt, my mom's younger sister has one also, but a different tumor. And um, as you guys know, I do too. We all have a different one. How crazy is that though, that we all have a tumor of some kind in our, in our brain area? Maybe it's not so shocking to you all, but it's, it's shocking to us. But mine, thank God, is nothing now. Okay, that's the thing with the, with the uh, toothpicks. They pop through, so you gotta pop them back in. But I do feel like this is so solid. Oh my gosh. Yes, I can't wait to get stuff coming out of it. Um, Shirley Ann, we would love that too. Where did the garland come from, Tina? Everything I have on my desk, if you can see, every single thing was from Hobby Lobby. And um, I figure I've probably, by the time I get done, though, I might have spent $20, but by the time I get done, I will only have used maybe $9 of all this stuff. And then, I know, Therese, I do it, I do it too. I actually did it to Chris Hunter the other day, creating with Chris Hunter, and um, she put me on, and then all of a sudden I was like, we're both on, like, oh, hi, hi, everybody. Uh, is my mom on? She must be on, because uh, I heard, I just saw somebody say, did she stop it? Dollar Tree, okay. I promise, I know, this is like, God, really make a career out of this? But we're getting there. Gosh, that toothpick deal, thats that was a home run. And then I have tons of little white and black beads. Like I said, I didn't want 
Um, any other colors on the, no, nice clear tips. Okay, I'll show you what I do have that I was thinking about that I have it right here. Um, thank you, Susan. It is interesting. Okay, mom is there. Mom is here. I wasn't talking about you, mom. She hasn't been on in a while and she's not gonna be on class Sunday. You already got your supply. <gasps> you did, Tracy? Good deal. Uh, because I, I promise you, this is, this is a good little craft. And I, this is something I could do with my granddaughters. They get distracted very easy, but I could do this. You could stuff cotton balls. Your dad had two brain tumors. Your mother-in-law died from brain. Oh gosh, gosh, gosh. Well, we are ridiculously healthy. Um, I always say, I still have both my parents are alive, which is insane to me. And I definitely know how lucky I am. So we live, we live, you know, strong like bull, big long lives over here. Okay, so I got to figure out how to get these little puppies in. Oh, there we go. I'm gonna hit that with some glue because I think that'll stay. Oh yeah. But I'm not gonna lie, I was shocked too. I did not think you could hot glue with the styrofoam and I just started trying it and you could. And so I was so happy. Hi Kim Miller, I just happened to see your name. Uh, Jan Bryant, Diane Newman. Knock on wood, I know. Okay, oh my gosh, yes. You guys are right. It's gotta have stuff like flying out of it. That's what's gonna make this so cute. The, the bigger tree, took me about an hour and a half. So this, um, I'm sure by tomorrow morning, we'll all still be done. Well, you know, we'll be finishing up by in the morning. But no, it's, uh, yeah, Rebecca, I bet your family's like that too. My, oh, that's true. Your grandfather lived to be 105. Well, mom and I said something today about, you know, the older you get, the more you, you're, you're like, oh, okay. If it just, if I keep looking like this, maybe I'm, oh yeah, I should be ready to go soon. Hi, Nora. Nora Wells, good to see you. You have three great nieces. Uh, seriously, can you imagine how fun this would be? Oh my goodness, and if you took them and let them pick everything out, because they are, there are so many cute little garlands with like gingerbread men and all kinds of stuff. Or my granddaughters would either want all, hold on, Catherine, your mother was 101. That is amazing. You're having a hard time finding a lot of these supplies at your Hobby Lobby. I don't get it, you guys. Ours is packed, like literally packed. So that makes me sad. Cute was a little bad, I know, the little spirals, that's what it had to have, Faith. And like I said, on this, look at this one again. I know I keep showing you, but it's because I am really proud of it. It was fun and it was so fun to do, but that is what made it, is all this crazy stuff sticking out of it. So I really was excited to do this tonight. Does anybody know what cabbie is? I think probably a lot of you do. Um, well, I'm going to a cabbie party tonight because I always say, I don't have time to shop. A candy one would be so cute. Yes. I don't even think I need to add glue. I don't, I don't know why I keep doing that with those. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to a cabbie party tonight. No Lazy Susan's yesterday? Oh my goodness. Um, and online nothing either, because I have better luck online with everything. And I hate, I really don't like shopping. Your grandma lived to be 100? She is a tough Norwegian, holy moly. This one I will glue, because I don't trust this. Uh, let's see, let me go right here. Look it, we're almost to the top. It's just a mere seven hours later. We're almost done with this thing. I cannot wait, this is gonna be my favorite part. Oh, I cannot wait to show you guys all of them put together. That's where all the fun is. Uh, what's a cabbie party? Uh, is that Janine? A uh, cabbie party is, uh, it's a clothing party. It's a home clothing party, but I mean, it's, it's nice stuff. It's a little pricey, but I have found the, whatever I have bought of Cabby, I keep. I could spend 20 bucks on a dress at Marshall's and I notice it's in my closet for about a few months and I'm over it. The Cabby stuff is really good quality and I end up 
keeping it forever and I don't give it away, which is very interesting because I, I like to trade out my clothes all the time. I'm always like, I'll go to uh, consignment stores and sell my clothes. How many lives have been, oh shoot. I, I don't even know you guys what we would do over here without Hobby Lobby. Although my Michaels and my Hobby Lobby are like right across the street from each other. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm, I would always rather be at Hobby Lobby. Yeah, you'll see, we hardly used any of this garland, hardly any at all. When I did the greenery, we started like high, came like this, and then we kind of leveled out, and then we went low to like indicate a tree. But for this, you don't have to. This one is really doing it itself, and I am so happy about that. But like I said, what makes all the difference is, can you hear it? That's what it did to my desk Monday. That's how much glue is under there. There we go. But, oh my gosh, you guys, how adorable is this gonna be? I just love it. I hope you guys do too. I can't wait to see what everybody does with theirs because you guys always do something way better than I do. But I love to see them. I'm just your idea girl. That's all I am, just your idea girl. You went for the first time to Hobby Lobby at Chandler and almost made <laughs> me a day. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I, the first time I went to one, well, I'll tell you what, Hobby Lobby, yes, faint. Uh, at home, if you guys don't have at home, uh, you don't know what you're missing. At home is Hobby Lobby on steroids, uh, same great prices, but also add in a whole bunch of like furniture. Uh, when I lived in Florida, they had old time pottery. And um, so I loved that store and they had it in Kansas City too. So it's like that, except probably a step up, like a little bit nicer. Yeah, those are, at homes are my favorite. And we have one right down the street. Oh, I love it so much. I really, really, really do. I'm so happy with this. And I'm really happy that it hasn't taken us forever and ever and ever, because I was worried about that. But I, I ended up pulling 10 big glue sticks for today, just in case. You love my glasses? Thank you. Steinmart, when Steinmart was still, you know, Steinmart. Happy, Tony, where in the world do you live that it's two hours away? I live 20 minutes from uh, Hobby Lobby and I feel like, ugh, it's like a, a whole day event for me to go there. Get the garland, I am telling you, I like the garland so much better than buying, um, so for instance, I like it so much better than buying like these, but these were so inexpensive because these were in the mini aisle, you know, where they have all that mini stuff. Will all three be on candlesticks? Yes, Nancy, they're all, I painted all three similar. Look, aren't they adorable? So I've got those two and then, but that's what you have to have. You can have anything different but you've got to have something to ground everything. And what's grounding this whole centerpiece with three different, completely different trees is the candlesticks. So um, just FYI, that's what it is. And coincidentally, if you don't know how to do a candlestick, we, we probably have a tutorial on our website that you could take. Uh, oh my gosh, yeah, lots of. Oh, Tony, Natchez. Yes, I think because I asked you if you knew my friend and then I, after I asked you, I was like, that's so, I, that was so stupid. But um, I would have cracked up if you knew him. You live five from Hobby Lobby and 10 from Michaels. How nice is that? But yeah, my problem is I go, I spend a fortune. I don't mean to, but I just, how am I going to cover the ball holes and the white balls? I'll, t I'll show you. That's when I start, oops. That's when I start putting little beads and berries over top of those. Billy, you live an hour away. Thank you, Betty. Thank you, thank you. So I'm gonna assume that at least uh, 340 of you guys don't mind the talking. Uh, thank you, Dee Dee. I love the candlesticks too. Um, and I'll just tell you, my mom will, can uh, verify. She left here at one o'clock and I had just started the candlesticks and I got all of them done 
before 2.30, and that's, but that's all I did. I just sat here and worked on those the whole time. So they can go pretty fast. Is the red the permanent red? Yes, Jamie Taylor, great question. I meant to tell you guys what colors uh, I used. So the red is Master's Touch, permanent red. It's incredible paint, but I need to say, don't try and polka dot with it. It is too thick, it does terrible polka dots, and unfortunately one of our sisters found that out. Um, the green I'm using is, where is it? I moved stuff around when I came, when I had to go live, let's see. Here it is, uh, this I love. Chrome oxide green, thick body, so it's super thick paint. So normally with greens, it takes like three coats or two different greens together to come up with a, you know, a good solid base coat. And um, with those thick bodies, you don't have to. They, they work right away. So those are fun. Which greens did I use? Yeah, just that one. It's the only one I used. Uh, Chris Coon, you have a nice book. Aw, oh, thank you. Yeah, but it is funny when, there are, there are so many different crafters out there, but when you get one that's, if you're not from that area, you know, of the world, and maybe it's annoying to some, I love it. There's a couple girls with Southern accents that I love to listen to. No mixing for the green. Gina, I didn't have to, but great question. I didn't have to, but I did mix a little bit of white with it because I always do. I cannot stand just a, you know, solid painting color. So I did add, oh my gosh, you guys. I promise once it's all filled in, it's gonna be so fabulous. Um, look at these little ones. And I've got a million of these little pearls that were, that was the other reason I loved this uh, garland because there's a million of these little pearls that are like the spacers for the garland. And so they're all over the place. I really debated adding some color to this, uh, but in the end, I'm so glad I didn't because I can already tell just the green uh, cone sitting there. I would not have liked color on this. And you can see I'm definitely, okay, hold on. Fran Ward Home Goods has turntables with four inch size, works great. Um, I think it's funny that now we're calling them turntables to be politically correct against all Susans, because you know, that's probably where we all, uh, that cracked me up today when Kathy said, I don't, I don't mean disrespect. I was like, oh, I know she's so sweet because what about, you know, uh, what is it? Debbie Downer? You don't see me, you don't see me complaining. So Susan, you got nothing on that. Yeah, Debbie Downer, I've always been Debbie Downer. You almost called it a turntable, yeah. Hi Sandy Scott, I feel like this is the first time I've seen you so far. They are kitchen under counter. Oh, kitchen under counter turntables. Uh, everything you do. Oh, thank you so much, Sandy. You're so sweet. Uh, I'm going to have stuff everywhere. A turntable is a record player. That is correct. You have, oh, negative Nancy. That is true. How about Chatty Cathy? Yeah, Chatty Cathy. Debbie Does Dallas. I told you guys that one. Debbie Crown. I used to work for Dallas Electronics. Mm -hmm. You can fill in the sentences there, my friend. Uh, whoops, oh, hold up. Yeah, I used to work for Dallas Electronics and it's always it always cracked everybody up. I was their outside sales girl and they would send me out on calls and the back in the day when you had a receptionist and she would announce you and they would say, you know, Jeff, uh, Debbie, Debbie, Debbie with Dallas is here to see you and you all just hears a snicker throughout the whole room as everybody's staring at you to see if you're, you know, if you look like a porn star or <laughs> if you just have the name of one. Oh my gosh, so, so, so happy. You're very late. Marcella, you are super late. Chatty Kathy is, oh, that's right, because Kathy, Kathy Spang, my admin, is a Kathy. You can be chatty. Kathy and I uh, love to play bingo together. We go to the casino and play bingo. We haven't had time for months now, but, um, and 
we get in trouble a lot from people giving you that, ugh, you're so disgusting look, because you're talking too loud at bingo, God forbid, you're having a good time. Oh my gosh, you guys, we're up to the top. Oh, I'm so happy. All right, let's see, I need a little white one. So I would say I have used, oh my gosh, maybe a third of that garland. They just called you Kimmy Lou. Oh, that's cute though. Look, we're already onto another glue stick. So I'm glad I brought them out. Um, and the Hobby Lobby, uh, I think that's what Kathy used today. Those are 14 inch too, if I'm not mistaken. Are you putting a big bowl on the top done in black and white checks? Oh, <gasps> Wendy. That's what I should do. And I'm going to tell you right now that is, why did I not think of that? I'm going to go back and do some polka dots and checks on these. So if you guys get do, do this, do that ahead of time because I'm gonna have to take mine out and do it. But thank you, that is such a great idea. It is cute, I'm super happy with it. Okay, let's get, um, I wanna see how um, this is gonna play out on top. So. I could not, I could not be happier. Okay, that is so cute. All right, I need to get a white one right there. I can't believe, oh, it's already been an hour, or so I thought we were doing so well. See, time flew. You're late. Uh, what's on the menu for tonight? Uh, we are doing this little black and white Christmas tree. Your school counselor called me Calamity Jane. That's cute. Sharon, how did you get Calamity Jane? You love bingo at the casino. I know, we do too. Seriously, we do too. Kathy and I have been known to win a game or two, but um, we like the intermission probably better than anything because then you go into the casino and play for like 15 minutes. And Kathy and I have a rule. If you're winning in the casino, don't come, to, don't come back to bingo. Just stay out there and keep until you get on a losing streak again. So she'll know if I don't come in at intermission, it's because, hi Patty. Uh, gosh, Wendy, that was such a good idea. If that was yours, it was really good. Great idea in the bow. What bow? Uh, pastel colors. Thank you. I, I love it. I'm super, super duper happy. Every time I make something, you want to go make one. I know. I'm not gonna lie, these little boogers, they're hard to get in. So you've got to, they definitely require a lot of glue because they're, when I'm cutting them, now they're thick, but they would have looked ridiculous if I kept them as, uh, whoops. All right, we lost, we have, we, we have a casualty. That's the first one, that's impressive. What in the world are you guys talking about? Francis the talking mule. You call, they call you Debbie Downer for real? Because people used to call me that as a joke because you know, you can tell I'm a little out there. Is your casino in Scottsdale? Yes, Sharon. We have uh, we we have a lot of casinos around here within just seconds, and uh, you'll be in Seminole Hard Rock the day you land. Oh well, we are um, we're going to Vegas in a couple of weeks because um, you know it's only four hours away and it's just a blast. And mainly because we have restaurants that we love, and um, I don't know. It's just I know not everybody is for it, and I get it, but it's just what we like to do. We like to shop. You have several near you? Yeah, we have a bunch right, right really close. All this Indian land. We were just talking about that the other day. Start a hole with a toothpick. Okay, good. Again, why am I, why am I the teacher? I don't want to be the teacher anymore. All right, I'll see if that worked. It would have to be something a lot bigger, but that is a good idea. Yep, that's what it needed. I definitely need you guys. Okay. All right, let's get some of these little berries on. So that's what you guys were asking about is how do, let's see, I lost one. Uh, Vegas, Vegas wedding? No. No, not Vegas wedding. Eventually. I keep saying eventually, but not yet. 
uh, skewer. Yeah, we use skewers for the hat. A skewer would have been a great one. Or a paintbrush. Yeah, paintbrush. And I should have done that. They go in so smoothly with a stemming machine for Florida. Uh huh. Yeah. What restaurant do we love in Vegas? We love the Palm at Caesars. We love SW Steakhouse at Wynn. We love Wing Lee at Wynn. Um, we like, uh, hold on, glue a pick to those black and white pieces. Glue a pick to those. Oh, yeah, 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 I could. Um, anyway, we, it, it kind of changes. There's a couple of Italian restaurants that we love too, but we do, we'll go. I was saying the other day, I, I just lost 15 pounds and I know I will, that was short lived because I guarantee that's what we do. We'll just go and eat like crazy, but that's okay. You only live once. And the more we eat, the more time we're in a restaurant, the less time I'm losing money in a slot machine. But we do, we do a lot. We usually do a lot of shopping. Bill likes to shop at um, the forum shops. And at Caesars, so we do we do that. I don't. I'm a I'm a thrifty girl. I, I can't I, I I am all quantity over quality. So that's why if me doing cabby tonight, that's like the highlight of my quality. Hi Beverly, welcome. Welcome, welcome. Alright, some of them go right in. Okay, let's start. Uh, we need to get some of the beads on here. So this is what I was talking about. And these are, um, thank you, Nora. That is so sweet. Latanya, I haven't seen you in forever. Literally, we haven't seen you in forever, my friend. Okay, this, I'm gonna, do, I'm gonna dump these in here. Otherwise, this is gonna make the worst mess. Learned my trick on that the other day. Uh, you're heading out to Hobby Lobby. You got to get a sand. <laughs> okay. All right, Barbara. We'll try to talk about you when you're gone. Try, okay. Try tenders at Luxor. We never go down that far. Diane Day, you lost 42 pounds in 2020 using a protein shake once a day. Interesting. Oh, thank you. The Almore. Yeah, it's a lot of work. Spell cabbie. Perfect. Deborah, it's C-A-B-I. It's a low, lowercase C-A-B-I. That's all it is. Um, and... They, they do have beautiful stuff, but it's all like home party stuff. It's not, uh, they don't, well, they do have some outlets, I guess. All right, wait till you see how everything starts to change in about one second. See, you gotta get those little different sizes on everything and then it starts to change. Now, what I do need is something that doesn't have these big holes in it for um, all the openings, and that's going to be, okay, this is gonna kill my fingers, I know it. Well, it kinda looks, it looks a little obscene right there, but once I get them on all of them, it, it'll, it'll look great, right? I've got my finger protectors right here, I just never wear them. Uh, your son got engaged over the weekend, oh, that's awesome. That's exciting, you're going for your anniversary? Friday, oh, Tana, how fun would it be if we were there at the same time? Here's what I do though, you guys. I use, I put these on and then I don't, like I use different fingers. See, makes no sense. I don't, I don't get these things. It's gonna be cute. All right, let's, um, let me get some stuff in here. Anyway, this is about it. Like, this is what we're doing. So if, if you have dinner to go get or whatever, I totally understand. I, I always say it, it doesn't bother me much. Come on. I hope everybody can find that Santa because I am telling you, you guys, it's huge and it's, I mean, look at this thing. It's fabulous. It's three foot, three foot by two foot, 36 by 24, huge, but huge and great. Not just huge, but huge and great. All right, I had to get down here in my little stash because they, there's a common denominator on my trees, which is a little bit of something very sassy. Uh, one is coming off. Is it this one? Because it's not. It's, is that the one you're talking about? Let me see. Oh, it is. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh... 
Okay, hold on. Anyway, I need a common denominator to pull all the trees together besides the, um, besides just the candle holders, I was thinking. So in my head, I was thinking, okay, well, how about somewhere on this one, I just put something like that for kicks, and are you guys gonna say, don't, don't ruin it? Uh, Mary White, it was on sale half off, so it was $29.99 half off. Well, it was $49.99, and then I paid $29. What, somebody give me a, like, what are you, out of your mind? Forget it, like, don't, don't do it too much, knock it off, Debbie. Um, and maybe it doesn't need it, and if it doesn't, that's fine, I'd be thrilled. Uh, what a trio. Yes, they will be gorgeous. It's all fun and games until you <laughs> face. <laughs> yeah, nobody wants to lose a dingley ball right in the middle of your TV show. I know why I love calling, don't, okay, don't. I, I don't know why I love calling them dingley balls. I think because it drives my mom crazy. No, okay, I trust you guys on that one. You know, usually I'll, Sometimes I'll do it anyway because I know I'm right, but in this case, I, I, was, I was questioning myself on this one. Don't do it. All right, Marlene, I won't. Damn it. Do it. Okay, see, this is what happens every time, you guys. And then I've got the rest of you. If I were to do it, you guys, I'm afraid I would have to... Um, hold on. You know I say hold on all the time. I'm afraid I would have to put some red in every once in a while to have it make sense. What do you think about that? Or, all right, all right, all right. Or maybe just red berries. Oh, I feel like it just destroyed the whole look. Let me know what you think about that. Or, let me know what you think about these bad boys. How great are those? $4.99, half off. I was thinking, surely these could get on here somehow. But you guys see, I'll just chotsky it up if you let me. Joyce, where have you been? Uh, okay, I need to get some. So, okay, so here's what we do now. Now you start building out. So like, for instance, I need a small, I, I just happen to have another one of these things right here. I need just a small little ball, right? Look. I need it, um, where was it? Right here. I need something, now, now do you see what I'm saying? And then you start filling in, no red bulbs, okay. But this is how you start filling in is when you um, go to the next layer with your ornaments. Where'd it go? Right here. How cute is that? So that's where, that's where everything changed, so. I'm going to do the polka dots on some of the black ones because I think that was the cutest idea. I also have these crazy things. No, all right. I, I can hear you guys now. Knock it off. We said knock it off. Uh, let's see, no dingles. Really? You guys are anti-dingles? See, this is what it would be like if I don't talk. We just sit here. I don't know, I can't, I can't do that. Can't do it, won't do it. Let's see if this will hold. Let me get some underneath here. It's a lot of glue. It's a lot of glue, uh, you know, glue strings. But do we love this? Is this throwing everybody off? Because if it is, I'll, I'll adjust it. But how about the red, white spiral thing, Kim Dwyer? Oh, this thing? I, I don't know. I don't know about that. It's just, it's just sitting there. It's not really doing a lot. Okay, does it need, here's my next question, uh, does it need the greenery? Do you think it should, let me pop one off so you can look at it. So my, the big one has this greenery just stuck in every once in a while, so let's show. What do you think about that? Does it look like a, an evil arm coming out? I think a bow would look pretty instead of this. I don't know why y'all let those comments get you. I know, I, exactly. You like the touch of red? Okay, see, this is what happens every time. You guys cannot agree, it's not my fault. Uh, Julia, Julia, how do I think we haven't seen you in a while? 
Debbie, uh, Debbie, you're gonna hurt my feelings and tell me you don't like it. Oh, really, you guys? I'm devastated by that. All right, well then you guys gotta come up with a plan. Uh, I do have a little, <laughs> and, yeah, that, that was a killer. Because did you see how excited I was about that? Were you guys all the whole time thinking, bless her heart, that's, that was about the time we lost like 40 people all at once. Okay, so the other option would be a little snowman hat because it's gotta be something funky. All right, no, green, no greenery? What in the world, you guys? You're still on the red and the greenery too, Penny? The pink on the sparkle ball throws it off. Okay, maybe because I'm looking at it differently. You know, if I listen to you guys, it's going to look exactly like this tree with green and white and red and a little touch of black here and there. <sighs> I just don't like, uh, okay, you didn't like the top. All right, I get it. Uh, nope, we're still here. You like the topper, Melissa, thank you. Topper is too much gold. Look at you guys, whatever, whatever. <laughs> Whatever, what do you people know? You don't have your own TV show. So, uh, all right. But I could tell too, I, the whole time I was sitting here, as much as I loved it, I was like, I suppose you're gonna hate this then too. I'm kidding. <laughs> all right, we're not gonna do greenery, or are we? Let me just try a couple more, because maybe you just gotta, you, you need to see a few more. How are you not loving that greenery, you guys? A hat, okay, the hat. Maybe if you put a bow. All right, we keep talking about a bow, but what kind of bow? Just like a big bow? Uh, okay, mom, what'd you do with the snowman hat? Mom had a snowman hat somewhere. Oh, I think it's over there. But anyway, I have all these little balls that I'm gonna fill in with. I'm not gonna bore you with that because that would take us till tomorrow morning. But, um, gosh, you guys, put the other trees in it and, and then you'll know yet. Oh, like with it? All right, hold on. Let's do one more of these, and then I'm gonna put the, all the trees up here. Put the other tree, okay, yeah. Thank you, Marcella. See, there's a couple of you that are just like, eh, I don't care. Black and white check balls, they do, and I think I have some, actually. You know I'm getting that in there. Sometimes it is hard, though, for me to see you guys, because I'm having to look at it through through a lens of a camera and it's different. Um, I suppose you don't like these things either. All right, here we go. Now, nobody judge till I get everything set up. Okay, this is, this is for this one. Let me see if I can pick it up. You know we're gonna, end, oh. We're gonna end up having this all. Okay, come on, you guys. That is adorable. That is so adorable. We just have to figure out what the topper should be. That is, look at how, okay, let me come down here. You guys, that is beautiful with the, uh, okay, then you would definitely want to, if this is gonna be on a shelf or on a mantle, you're definitely going to want to paint the bottom of your styrofoam. Thank you, thank you, thank you. In your office in front of the box. It's in my office. Look at you guys, my mom knows exactly where it is. It's in my office in front of the box. Okay, I might go get it, but for right now, there's that one. This one, I think I just said, there. All right, what do you guys think? And then in the front, With the twinkle lights on, hold on, just give me a second. I got it. I wasn't planning on being ready for my the big big reveal yet. Okay, hold on. How adorable and funky is this? See, it's these that I feel like have to be consistent. That green. Put the gold topper back on, Cheryl. Thank you. I will be happy to. Let me. Um, all right, this one's starting to bug me because it's on top of stuff, but you guys get the idea. You know I'm gonna lose all of them in a second, right? Uh, it needs red berries. Try a red Santa hat. What's wrong with this hat? 
Oh, this little topper hat. Too big? Ah, oh, you guys. All right, let's try this back on again. All right, hold on. I'm gonna let that one sit right there. Still no? <laughs> I still don't get to keep it? You know what it needs? It needs a beautiful uh, black and white check something up there. I think it could be a finial. A finial, you guys. A beautiful black and white uh, black and white check and stripe finial. That's what it needs. Uh, a red Santa hat for the topper. Okay, I do think this one needs, I think we've got to maintain the integrity of the black and white, don't you think? Uh, you love the red one. Not so much the black and white one, Piper? Huh? okay, well, that's all right. It's okay, don't worry. Uh, it is so dark cute. Santa, uh, oh, I have a great Santa head too. All right, here's where you guys know what happens. I, I, we hang up and I go, okay, well, I'll see you guys. And then I continue working on it. Sometimes I take it all apart and I put it back together. And then I take fantastic pictures. You've got to admit, I do take fantastic pictures. That topper is too fancy. All right, all right, all right, all right. So I'm going to find something, but I think it might be a finial or the Santa head. I loved that idea. Okay, Sarah likes the finial idea. All right, um, but... I guess more than anything, you guys, I, it was more about just showing you if you have some kind of a, of a common denominator running through anything, it will work. It really will. Um, yeah, I'm talking finial. All right, we're going to talk finial. I'll, I'll get on top of that. So, you know, in all my free time right now, I'll get on top of that right before my cabbie party. I'm going to finish this up and I'm going to... Uh, finish everything up and display it perfectly and you're going to then say to yourself oh, she nailed it again we didn't think she was going to it was touch and go but she she did it uh, a distressed wooden angel proportionate in sight wow faith you have a lot of you have a lot of faith in me I think a black white finial is perfect too we, we, Debbie you're still on the Santa hat uh, black and white finial Kath, Kathy Boyd I didn't hear you say that <laughs> I didn't hear you say it Check out the sale on my wall. Uh, okay, uh, let's see. Okay, Santa Head, I'm gonna try it. I've got all kinds of stuff. I got all kinds of tricks up my sleeve. All right, you guys, it's, we've been on here for a long time. Sorry, uh, Jan Jenkins, no, just, just no, nothing. Can you put the black, uh, can you put the hat on the black and white? Sure we can, hold on. Um, let's see how much I can tip over all at once. Okay, that's cute. I don't know if this tree has enough weight to handle this. I do nail it, Nancy, thank you. Uh, topper is too iridescent. It is, I know, I saw it that time. I didn't want to admit it. But sometimes, sometimes I see stuff and I, you know, I'm like, oh, all right, well, it seemed like a good idea at the time. Uh, cute black and white hat, oh, they do. But I'm not a huge buffalo check chick, I, I'm not. I, I know it's so similar, it's ridiculous, but it's just not my favorite thing. A red Santa hat would be, it would be perfect to be a red common denominator. It would, I do think I've gotta get some red over here somehow, but just in the top. So I could, it is too big, but I could do a finial with one little line of red with white polka dots. I can't wait till I post this and you guys all go, oh, dang it, she is really good at her craft. So, a hat on the green tree. Yeah, I did like the hat on the green tree, but it's still too big. I'm gonna work on this, you guys. I know I keep saying it. I'm gonna work on this, and then I wait to see what else you're saying. Well, it, it was interesting today. It's just, you know, I'm all about doing stuff that's different that you can't find at Hobby Lobby. You can find the crap at Hobby Lobby, and then you go home and make something. I'm all about that. So, all right, you guys. You don't like the greenery tree at all? Okay, all right, I'm fine. I'll talk to you guys later. I'm sure I'll be fine. <laughs> uh, I know, the, the greenery tree, is, it's got some issues right now. I'm working on it. Uh, just just give, me, give me a couple minutes to pull together and I will. You love the red and the white candy, I know. Just one, well yeah, but this, I, that's what I mean. You, you can just do one, put it on a huge candlestick and put two of these on your fireplace mantle. 
spectacular. You don't have to do that. I'm just, I'm just spitballing. You guys know that. Uh, thank you, Micheline. All right, you guys. Um, <laughs> thanks, Cheryl. I will nail it. You guys know I will. Of course, I can't get to my camera right now because of that, you know, ugly greenery tree that's sitting in front of me that apparently nobody loves and appreciates. A couple of red berries. And I think so too. Thank you. I will have fun at my party. I'm going to buy, I'm going to buy some clothes because I haven't bought any clothes in forever. And I'm wearing all the same stuff over and over. You love the greenery tree, Sandra? Thank you. Judy, you love it too. Thank you so much. <laughs> okay. All right. I love you guys. I hope you have a great rest of your night. And I will be back in uh, Check Savvy Sisterhood, the membership, Friday morning at 1030 my time. So that is 130 Eastern time, I believe. What about gold on the greenery? Okay. I'm, I'll look at it. I'm, I'll go back and see what you guys are saying. No, I won't. <laughs> all right. See you later. Bye.